you know, how long will they get up there and dance on TV for free? I, I don't know. Um, it could be a while, you know, who knows? Um, do I see, you know, emergency broadcast systems going off and all of those things? Absolutely not. Do I see 10 days of darkness? No, we do not. Uh, they don't have those capabilities and they're losing them more and more every single day as we look for these tags and ties and and, and whatnot in, in computer systems, you know, control grids, power grids, all of these types of things <clears throat> are no longer... Um, in their control, so to speak. Okay, um, that's enough about the three Egyptian ladies and some UN terminals. Uh, one other thing we found uh, earlier today, actually, that was quite interesting, uh, was just how much control they had over presidents and presidential seats, and how did they do it? So. People talk about a lot, of, a lot of organizations like the Council on Foreign Relations and so forth, but have you ever heard of the Royal Institute of International Affairs? Mm. Nope. You don't see anybody on the internet talking about it. It's right there, face front. It's a public organization. Hmm. So who are they and what do they do? Well, they are a geopolitical nightmare for us. <laughs> uh, they are a think tank for politics worldwide. Okay. And political manipulation. They have their, or had, their own line into every office of every president in the world. Wow. <laughs> Talk about political manipulation. Now, they would have sat on what we call like a level seven in the computer. So pretty high up, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, in addition to that, uh, they were connected to lesser think tanks on level two. Seven plus two is nine, always, right? Yep. And those think tanks would be uh, Club of Rome, Rand Corporation, those types of people. Uh, and there's many of them around the world. And one would be the order givers, and one would be the order takers. Now, when that phone line rings, so to speak, from the Royal Institute of International Affairs, everybody answers and everybody does whatever they say. Okay. Now, who runs the Royal Institute of International Affairs? Do you know? Mm hmm. No. Rothschild. Here we go. Who runs Rand Corporation, Club of Rome, and all of those think tanks? The Order of the Black Sun. So orders come from one, can go directly to any head of state. Uh, this goes back to a hidden clause in the... A NAFTA agreement, uh, which was actually hidden inside the European Steel and Coal Agreement, something about an energy agreement. I can actually look it up and I can have it for you um, next time. But it was a clause hidden deep inside that agreement, that, which was from, oh, forever ago. I think it was from the 40s. It was after World War II, I think. And um, where it says that your executive branch has now been assigned to the Royal Institute of Inter International Affairs. Jeez. Yep. <sighs> That's exactly right. It's a very small clause in that agreement. And that is every country, everywhere in the world. <laughs> yep. Same thing goes for central banks. You know, those ties and connections to the Fed weren't just about who controls your central bank and who controls your currency. They were all about orders and instructions, too. They also had their own set of diplomatic lines to central bankers. Well, what, what kind of orders would they be giving them, Kim? Like an example. Um, your currency is going to devaluate in the next, you know, 24 hours. We're going to blame it on... Habib having a fight with Billy Bob and um, now you're, you know, you're going to devaluate because you didn't do what we say. I got get you. your politicians in line, you know, get this so on and so forth. You pick up the phone, you call a president, you know, yeah, you're, you're going to bomb the Banana Republic in the next 48 hours, get it done. And then yeah. the orders also go down to the other think tanks like Rand and so on and so forth to um, inform the militaries of what they're going to do. I see. Yeah. 
information is key here uh, in understanding how the world really worked. So when everybody's talking about, oh, Trump's coming back, this is going to happen, and it's going to save you, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> the Royal Institute of International Affairs, he was a puppet for four years, and if he can't, ever did come back, the dead guy ever, ever came back, we're going to switch dead guys out for dead guys, um, then there you have it. So now why does everybody think, you know, there's lots of chatter about – Whatever that is that's playing Trump coming back on the 11th or the 12th, right? I lose track. Apparently. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, coming back service. next week, right? <laughs> when the Secret Service goes back in, they'll be instructed as to Biden leaving the White House, probably planet Earth officially, right? Mm. Uh, that was the plan. Okay. And this would have been plotted and planned out and probably would have occurred sometime in December is my guess. Uh, now this goes back to that agreement again, political control over countries uh -huh. would be turned over to the generals. So what does that mean? They would have gotten control over the back doors and all of the tags and, and whatnot in computer systems to the Royal Institute of International Affairs. That's what that means. So would it surprise you if they had a way to try to figure out and manipulate politically Trump coming back into office? No. Yeah. You know, I know Pelosi was blackmailed and bribed um, to not be the Speaker of the House. Uh, is that why we're hearing that more and more, Kim? Like, there's reports out there like, oh, well, I might step down now that this ordeal has happened with my husband. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's not, it's never a good thing when they've got you on videotape, um, <laughs> laying there with two men, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's never a good thing. No. Uh, it was a common occurrence for her, but it's never a good thing. And, and that's not a good visual for anyone. Like, that's not a thing you'd want to see. Like, yeah. Can't unsee that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that was all a manipulation. And um, they're probably going to put somebody in there, providing the Republicans take the House as they had planned. Right? Right. And then that person, whoever that person, uh, Speaker of the House would be, um, would then become your next president. So do I think it's going to be Trump? No, obviously not. He's not even running for Congress or anything like that. Um, but it, they're trying to figure out who that person would, would actually be. Some Have any names or anything been thrown around that you can tell? No. No? No. Nope, I don't think they know. I think they <laughs> don't really care as long as it's a controllable person. Sure. Yeah, which... Pretty much if you've been...